frontal impact when the force of the impact exceeds its preset minimum. The 600 uses the SRS2 system, which is completely new to Rover, and unlike the SRS system currently available on the Rover 800, which uses separate components, this system incorporates all the various components in a single SRS unit located in the center of the steering wheel. The airbag itself is made from nylon, coated with rubber on the inside, and will inflate to its full capacity of about 40 litres in about 30 milliseconds. The bag has two large exhaust holes at the rear, which allows it to deflate almost as quickly as it inflates. This maximises its cushioning effect and helps it dampen the body's movement. The SRS unit also houses the backup systems which enhance the reliability of the airbag system and the self-diagnosis facility which will automatically inform the driver if a fault occurs in any part of the airbag circuit. During normal operation, the SRS light on the instrument panel will come on as the ignition is turned on. It'll then go out after about six seconds. At the same time, a red LED inside the SRS unit, visible only when the access panel on the left-hand side of the steering wheel is removed, will flash to confirm everything is OK. If a fault occurs, the SRS warning light will come on and stay on, and the LED will flash a diagnostic trouble code. It's recommended the system is checked and the cause of the fault rectified at the earliest possible opportunity and this is also recommended if the SRS light fails to come on with the ignition. All Rover 600s are equipped with a sophisticated perimetric alarm system which protects against bypassing or unauthorized operation of the ignition switch and against forced or unauthorized entry through any of the hinged panels. The system will be automatically pre-armed when the vehicle is locked using the key in either door, or if remote locking is fitted, by locking the vehicle using the infrared handset. Incidentally, the infrared handset is not reprogrammable using microcheck. At this stage, the alarm system indicator lights located by the sill buttons in the front door trim panels will flash slowly. They won't flash and the alarm won't be pre-armed if one or more of the panels is still open or if the key is still in the ignition when the vehicle is locked. If the vehicle is secure, then after 15 seconds, the system will move from its pre-armed state to its fully armed condition. At this stage, the indicator lamps will change from a slow flash to a fast blink. This fast blink confirms the alarm is fully armed and because it's designed to act as a deterrent, will continue to flash until the system is disarmed. Once armed, the alarm will be triggered if any of the hinged panels are forced open, if any of the sill buttons are lifted, if either the bonnet or the boot release lever is pulled, if the ignition switch is turned on, if an ignition signal is detected, or if the battery is disconnected and reconnected. When triggered, the alarm will sound its horn and flash the indicators for about 30 seconds before going quiet. It will remain fully armed and then, after a further 30 seconds, will trigger the alarm again if another unauthorized signal is detected. For convenience, access to the boot is allowed even when the alarm is fully armed as long as the key is used to open it. And it's important to note, this will not disarm the whole alarm system, which will continue to protect the rest of the vehicle. Protection of the boot will be restored as soon as the boot lid is closed. And finally, the system can be fully disarmed by unlocking the vehicle using the key in either front door, or by using the infrared handset. To summarize this section of the program, Selected Rover 600 models are fitted with an SRS2 driver's side airbag. An SRS light on the instrument pack will illuminate if a fault occurs in the SRS system. 
All Rover 600s feature a perimetric alarm system. Indicator lamps adjacent to the front door sill buttons blink to confirm when the alarm is armed. And access to the boot space is allowed without the need to disarm the alarm. Finally, we'll round up this program by briefly mentioning some other points of interest relevant to the Rover 600 range. Many of the body panels are zinc coated to provide excellent corrosion resistance. And the body features tubular steel side impact bars welded into all four doors to increase passenger protection. Many of the plastic body parts are recyclable and are embossed with markings which identify exactly what type of plastic material it is they're made from. And staying with the environmental theme, the air conditioning system, which is standard equipment on selected models and available as a dealer-fitted kit across the rest of the 600 range, uses the CFC-free R134A refrigerant. A completely new range of security-coded in-car entertainment systems are available across the 600 range. The in-car entertainment handbook supplement includes a full operator's guide to the three sets available as well as other useful ICE information. And finally, for further component and vehicle information and detailed service maintenance and repair instructions, refer to the Rover 600 Service Repair Manual. To increase your tally of ATP points and for a chance to be one of six prize winners, read the booklet and complete the questionnaire that accompanies this programme.